Good afternoon to you all dear students. So we have started with block 13. All right, so we have uh, we, we are already done with one topic. So today our topic of discussion will be factors that is influencing diversity. All right, so we'll start with a new topic that is factor influencing diversity. So our aim for today is students will be able to explain how geographical factor influence the diversity of a region all right so the meaning of diversity we have learned yesterday so i'm not going to explain to you now okay so resources needed is flashcard with picture of igloo and eskimo all right so and question here is loose cotton clothes coconut rice and fish hot drinks spicy and hot food warm clothes Re uh, rearing sheep and goats, fishing, political wall made of India, worksheet S2, notebook, and your exit content book. So these are the resources that we will, we will be needing for our class. Now let's get started with the keywords. Alright, let's learn what is the meaning of geographical. Alright, so see the, the meaning of geographical means a description of the earth, the study of the physical properties of the earth, including how human affect and are affected by them. Alright, so geographical, it is a description of the earth or the study of the physical properties of the earth, including how human affect and are affected by them. So that is the mean of geographical. So observe the given picture carefully, okay? So all of you please observe the given picture carefully. So the first picture, okay, is about Alaskan Eskimo woman sitting outside igloo, norm, aka western winter scenic white snow. And this is a picture of igloo, alright? I hope you know what, who are Eskimo, okay? Is is a group of people, okay? Who live in a who live in a snow key, who live in a very cold place all right so now what is the house made of so you see the house out here right right so what is the house made of and where will you find such houses and what types of clothes is the Eskimo wearing and why What is the house made of from the picture that you have observed and where will you find such houses and what types of clothes is the Eskimo wearing and why? Okay, so see, the house and igloo that is made of ice. The house is made of ice, okay. And people living in polar region build igloos. Alright, so people living in polar region, they build igloo, okay? And the Eskimo is wearing clothes that is made of fur to keep him warm, alright? And climate varies from place to place and influence the way we lie, live, bringing about diversity. So people who live in the Eskimo, their life is different to ours, okay? Since they live in a very cold region, like a polar region, so... The houses they are made of ice, okay, and the Eskimo they also wear clothes that are made of fur, all right, mainly to keep them warm, all right. So here, as you can see from the picture, how a man is, a woman is wearing a warm clothes, fur, right, made of fur. So today we will learn about how geographical factor influence diversity okay so today we will learn how geographical factor influence diversity so i want all right uh i want you guys to grow two column okay into your notebook all right two column like this one you make it kerala another one you make it jammu and kashmir okay jammu and kashmir one column you write kerala one column you write Jammu and Kashmir, okay? So, Jammu and Kashmir, you write as hot and humid. Okay, hot and humid. Located at the sea coast. And Jammu and Kashmir, 
cold climate located at the Himalayas. All right. Okay, so um, once you are done, okay, read table one. Once you are done, read table one from your exit content book and check if you have sorted the answer correctly. All right, the cheat correctly. So see, this is the one, okay. Jammu and Kashmir, they are hot and humid climate. They have hot and humid climate. Jammu and Kashmir, Kerala, they have hot and humid climate. Whereas Jammu and Kashmir, they have cold climate. And Kerala is located near the seashore, okay. Whereas Jammu and Kashmir is located near the Himalayas. So that is the difference between the two place, the two states. Kerala, the weather is hot and they have humid climate. Whereas Jammu and Kashmir, they have cold climate. And Kerala is located near the seashore. Whereas Jammu and Kashmir is located or uh, located near the Himalayas. Okay, that is from this given map itself. You can see here is Jammu and Kashmir located on the Himalayan mountain range. All right, and as you can see from the bottom, and here is Kerala located near the seashore. Okay, I hope now you get it. The difference between the two places so places in Jammu and Kashmir is very very cold whereas place in uh, okay Kerala is very hot and very humid okay so that is the difference between them now what do people wear in Jammu and Kashmir and what do people wear in Kerala and why what type of clothes does people wear in Jammu and Kashmir and what type of clothes does people wear in Kerala and why and what do people usually do for a living in Jammu and Kashmir and Kerala and why what type of food do they eat okay now listen carefully okay so people in Jammu and Kashmir they wear warm clothes and they eat hot and spicy food along with hot drinks and it is very cold there so we know that jammu and kashmir is a very cold place so people wear warm clothes and they also eat hot and spicy food okay along with hot drinks since the place is cold out there and people in kerala they wear loose cotton clothes as it is hot and humid there Alright, in Kerala, the place is very hot, so people, they wear loose cotton clothes. And you will see that most of them, they eat a lot of coconut, alright, rice and fish, as these are found in plenty near the coastal areas of Kerala. Since they are near the seashore, that they have lots of coconut, rice and fish, okay. And people in Jammu and Kashmir, they rear sheep and goats so that is their main occupation all right they rear sheep they rear goats whereas in kerala fishing is common in kerala because kerala is close to the sea so the main occupation of people in kerala is fishing okay whereas in Jammu and kashmir rearing sheep and goats all right so that is the difference between the two places i hope now you are clear with it so what is the main reason for the differences in food, clothes and occupation of people living in Kerala and Jammu and Kashmir? So what is actually the main reason for the differences in food, uh, the food that they eat, the clothes that they wear and the occupation that people do to earn their living? Alright, so what is the main reason for the differences? Okay, listen carefully, okay. The main reason for these differences is the climate. Alright, it is because of the climate, the location and the land form, okay. Jammu and Kashmir is a hilly place and it is very cold, right. Whereas Kerala is plain area, okay, where it is located near the seashore and the, the climate is very hot, okay. Jammu and Kashmir is located near the Himalayas. 
is a hilly region and has a cold climate, okay? Whereas Kerala is in the plains, is a coastal area and is hot and humid. The geographical factors of both these places influence the food that people eat, the clothes that people wear, and their occupation as well, bringing about diversity, differences, okay, based on the climate, the location, and the land formation. All right. Okay, now let's try something higher order, okay, thinking. The Christian missionaries first came to Kerala in 2000 years ago, okay. The first Christianity came to India and Kerala, okay, that is way back 2000 years ago, followed by the Arab Muslim. All right, how do you think this would have influenced the life of people in Kerala? All right, we have learned that the first missionary, they came to India in Kerala, okay, that is 2000 years ago. And after that, uh, the Arab Muslim, they came to Kerala. So, how do you think this would have influenced the life of people in Kerala? Or what changes will take place in the life of people in Kerala? Okay, now listen carefully, okay? So, people in Kerala would have been influenced by religious values of Christians and the Arab Muslim. Hence, we would find both religion being followed in Kerala. So you will see that even today you will see that in uh, in Kerala, okay, you see lots of Christian as well as Arab Muslim. All right, because it was uh, first introduced here, and then it was it has influenced the, the people based on their religious. Okay, so hence we will find both re religion being followed in Kerala. Even today, all right. So now things to do. Your homework for today is you have to complete your practice question number four, five, and six. Okay, please write it down into your notebook along with the worksheet S two. All right, please give it a try. Okay, that's it for our class for today. Thank you. Stay safe. Have a nice day.